Oh, yes. I love her. Oh shoot. Romance set in an historical time period. I don't know why, but I eat those stories up. Mostly in manga form, but we have a movie form today, so let's see what it gives. I wanted something that was gonna give pride and prejudice, you know? I thought like this is the closest thing. I'm gonna be sucking on this giant rancher the entire film. Is either this or I'm gonna be spitting up flim. So, yeah. This one's for the girls. <laughs> <coughs> The year is 1769. Britain is a colonial empire and slave trading capital. Nothing new here. All old information. How lovely she is. What do you want with her? I am here to take you to a good life. A life that you were born to. And what good life? What does that entail? What's part of this good life? I'm sucking all into this mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> It can't be helped. Kenwood House, Hampstead Village. Ooh, it's nice over here. Don't tell me she's gonna be jealous. She is black. She is my blood. But she is black. So that's her, his son, daughter. I'm delusional. I'm under the weather. Propriety boy. And Propriety. What it is you are asking. She is a mulatto. <laughs> Ooh, mulatto. Big mulatto. What has she been named? Dido Elizabeth Bell. She's so pretty. She's so cute. We will call her Dido. Why is the subtitles off? The ship is no place for one so precious as you. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing that he took her from where she was at. In your heart, you are loved. Just as I loved your mother. Hmm. Okay, are they gonna be hateful to her? I hope not. Oh, she has a pretty dress. Okay, I can already see. Please be friends. Come on, we're both children. He discovered her mother aboard a captured Spanish slave ship. Yay! Marriage? Any match her other origins would attract would surely disgrace her and the family's rank. And when we are no longer here, who will take care of her then? I mean, these are all valid questions, especially, especially for the time. Yay, that's why I love kids. I have no experience in the ways of breaking grave news to you. Did her dad die? Two thousand pounds a year? That's her inheritance? He has left you your fortune. Well, that's good. Now she doesn't need anyone to take care of her. With such a dowry, you may marry into any good family. Dowry. I was trying to think of the name, but I said inheritance. Visitors. Whoever bothers to visit Ooh. Us. You will not be dining with us, Dido. Uh, how may I be too high in rank to dine with the servants and too low to dine with my family? Am I not wealthy now? An heiress? They don't see none of that, girl. Society has a habit of disregarding even one of its own when opportunity provides. I like the grandpa. Or... Who is he? <laughs> the grandpa, right? <laughs> Young gentlemen, very good connections. And most agreeable by all accounts. Okay, let's see. Draco? <laughs> Uh, what? I was gonna say, let's look at the eligible, at the eligible bachelors. And then Draco popped up. Mm. Let me take this out so I can say this correctly. Draco's not bad. Malfoy, he's not bad. <laughs> I don't feel like he gets enough credit. Especially in his um, Harry Potter days when he used to wear that little split down the middle with the hair. I see it. I see the vision. Good evening to you. Uh, my name is John Devenier. Uh, is he our love interest? Uh, please forgive me, though. You barely gave Sir, me a chance. Sir, I do not to... believe we have been introduced. Okay, he's giving something. I gotta see him in a different light, though. I have no idea she would be so black. Wow, they're acting like she is like some exotic creature from a different planet. James is the eldest. Oh, so you're a racist. That's what you're on here. Not surprised. Not surprised there. I find her repulsive. I find that weird repulsive. Mm -hmm. That's what I find repulsive here. One does not make a wife of the rare and exotic Oliver. Melfoy, you're at the bottom of the list. You were never at the top anyways. No. Uh -uh. You stay away from her. And you keep your eyes to yourself. Do not be glancing over here. Are we to hear you play tonight? Albert, please. Because you're not the one. Oh, do not be selfish with your good fortune, my lord. <laughs> Y'all better not be setting me up for failure. She better cut up. This would be most interesting. This would be most interesting. Okay, yes. 
Okay, got a little spice on there. She is most accomplished. Most accomplished. <laughs> I love their use of the word most. Before she renders herself sport to some gent of cruel promises. Her inheritance leaves her free of the usual inducements to marry. Honestly, give me the inheritance. That's all I need. I know I'm a ho who's romantic, but in this situation, at this time period, I'm good with my inheritance. You understand what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> father left me with an inheritance. So is her sister going to be a little bit jealous of her because she plays the piano better or whatever? I don't know. Pa, should he not have wished to see me before deciding? Veneer, I believe you've already had the pleasure. In some way, yes. In some way. I like his voice. You are simply to sit still, Dido. Not a very challenging task. Wait, she doesn't want to be. Should not any lady be flattered to be such a subject? How should any male know the ways of a lady when he has not even mastered the ways of a gentleman? One should be forgiven for thinking he is in the presence of a lady when she is in fact still a juvenile. Papa, we do this in private. <laughs> What is this enemy's the little lover spat we have going on? I'm about to say, why are you coming at his neck? What did he do? This man really said she's a juvenile. I love the clap back. I love the <laughs> the claws. A country lawyer you may make, perhaps, if you pay attention to what you are taught, but you have neither the It is so hot in here. Nor the finances for any more. So he's not well established or rich. Thank you for your gracious support. I neither spoke for or against you since neither is my place. Silence speaks volumes. Why are you so against him? We literally just met him. There have been more of your sex at Kenwood this week than I've previously seen in all my entire life. Hopefully we have not disappointed. Tuh. Some of y'all have. What is the importance of the song? It lost most of its slaves before arriving at its destination. Drowned by the crew on the captain's orders. Will you be joining us for dinner, Mr. De Vinier? So she never eats dinner with him? Not even with company there? Or is it because company's still here? Why do you not dine with your family ever? I mean, is it not obvious? Well, forgive me, but twice now I have seen you separated from the gathering. I knew he was going to bring it up. I knew he was going to bring it up from when he first met her. When the son of clergy is permitted to the table before a lady of the house. Is that a reminder of my place, Miss Lindsay? No, it is a statement of mine. Mmm, so he's not high ranked. Okay. They kind of good for each other. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade. Well, he's no Mr. Darcy in that aspect. What's happening? She's trying to pull her skin off? Ugh. Honestly, the mental strain of having to be a part of this family and be so ostracized also just because she's black. The insurance claim states that the slaves were thrown overboard for the safety of the ship. He is engaged, you know. Yes, he's engaged? Mr. Beresford's daughter. The carriage maker. What? You're engaged? <laughs> well, obviously he's breaking off that engagement. Wait. Why was she ups why was she so upset about the portrait? <laughs> I do not think the slaves could have been drowned in the way that you say. And you would utter disconnect from everything. The slaves were thrown into the waters. They were diseased, worth more as dead insured merchandise than as alive spoiled goods. They are refusing to pay for murdered slaves. <laughs> I just be eating these little things up. Miss Lindsay is no child. I will decide when she is ready for such realities, not the son of a vicar. So you're the reason why she's so disconnected. Find yourself in her vicinity again, and I will make you rue the day you ever set eyes on me. You rue the day! The fact that I learned that word from iCarly. <laughs> Nibble. You are to meet as many gentlemen as possible before we make the match. I cannot attend London without her. Lord knows I'll need the two of you to keep each other out of trouble. Do you think I may see Mr. James in town? Girl, let Mr. James go. I could fall in love with such a man, Dido. Her dad is trash. Why doesn't, why can't they, if he owns the house, why can't he just split some of the money with her instead of giving everything to the son or her dad? So she is disconnected. How kind. It's not as warm as we talked tonight. Girl, go wet your hair. You cannot comb it out like that. You must start from the ends, miss. Y'all yeah, don't put some water on that so it's easier. Not you trying to detangle it dry. You may as well rip it all out, why don't you? It's all, that's Oliver, not Oliver. If you don't stop creeping on her. She cannot know your thoughts unless you offer them to her. Not you shipping this, sir, my good sir. For you. <laughs> Oliver, you're not the one, so sit back and go find somebody else to be infatuated with. Would you do me the honor of taking some air with me? 
sometimes. Oh, there's lots of air here already. I don't think we need to go take any private air. What does that mean, Mr. James? What should anyone say? Come on, come on, Elizabeth. Call him out because you've been acting blind. Real blind and real deaf. I should be delighted, Mr. Oliver. Has Tom Felton, has he been typecast as like the villainous antagonist character? Because I've only ever seen him be like the antagonist. I've seen him in Harry Potter, obviously. We know he's rolling there. And um, Plenty of the Apes. And he was like the little idiot villain who kept the animals locked up. People will think she has no family. People will think they are courting. Ooh, courting. We don't date, we court. See how my heart beats. I am utterly taken with you. Mm -mm, girl, you just think that you're just exotic little creature that he wants to have fun with, girl. Mm. Why should anyone even pay her regard when your better half has equipped you so well with... That's your better half. I hope you know how well I think of you. As I do you. I don't think well of him at all. <laughs> Ariana, Ooh. what are you doing here? Why are you here staring at me from a distance, sir? You're giving, you're very much exhibiting Darcy behavior. Always popping up. Not him, oop, jump scared. I him was popping up, peeking through. You're alone. I did not have the chance to see you before you left. You never would have had to leave Kenwood. He would make mine a living hell way to know of us speaking. Oh, he knows y'all are speaking. This is for sure gonna get out. That was a very romance anime move right there. <laughs> That was a very webtoon, manga, manga move right there. Human beings cannot be priced since we are priceless. Free men and slaves alike. How can we expect to be civilized when we live in such a barbaric world? Okay, a man who's trying to make a change. I rocks with him. I have never heard anyone speak like you. Nor are you, Miss Lindsay. A goodbye, Miss Lindsay. So is he beneath her station or whatever? Is she higher ranked than him because he's the son of a clergyman? Our clergymen were like high ranked. What's their rank in society? To inherit Kenwood and all its land. Lady Ashford, I... She's not inheriting. Lady Mansfield, what is it? She's not inheriting. Penniless. Without an wow. inch of property or a shilling to her name. <laughs> <laughs> a lady's good breeding alone will not do. I can bring him more... Oliver. What of her own father? The seventh Viscount Stormont is a scoundrel. Scoundrel. And his new offspring, who I am told is to inherit everything. You know what she's giving? She's giving fairy, the fairy odd mother, or godmother, whatever, from Shrek. This scene is giving me that scene in the carriage right before she goes to McDonald's or whatever. Good family name and empty pockets will only get him so far. Right. So it's weird, the contrast. One has an inheritance and money to her name, but because she's black, her rank is low. One has the rank and the family name, but she's broke. <laughs> is Mabel a slave? She is free. Mm. and under our protection like me how is the fraud appeal papa marine mm. insurance she feeling spicy today she's been hanging out with davin in air davin air she got a little bike i learned yesterday mr davin oh davin okay what happened i've been calling him davin in the air dido is beginning to sound very much like him we may have been hanging out if the law supports the zong slave owners then make no mistake, the insurers will be forced to pay. Wait, so what's the um story here? I get the part about the slaves, uh, what Davinir thinks that the slaves were thrown overboard, but I don't get the insurance part. Did they do that to claim the insurance or what? Pardon me. Mr. Ashford is here if you miss. Which, Which Mr. Ashford? Oliver, please. You gotta stop. I'm not interested. Well, she is, but I'm not. I don't trust him. He doesn't like her. He's infatuated. Uh, I cannot offer you a title for the next Lady Ashford. I can, without doubt, offer you all that is due to Mrs. Oliver Ashford. And trust that this will be acceptable to you. I mean, what's entitled? <laughs> what, what comes with that? Honestly, what comes with that, sir? What comes with being your wife? Besides the fact that I won't be lonely. I mean, I got my money. I cannot... Ooh. I she turned him down. I thought she was gonna at least say yes I first. Think of anything more wonderful. Oh, okay, she did. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I feel bad for her. I was hoping that she didn't get jealous. Her situation, it sucks, really. She didn't ask for her dad to be trash. What does it feel like, Dido? To be engaged? To be engaged. She's not that happy about it. Perfect, that. Oh. 
She is right now, but once it all dies down and she realizes who Oliver is, she's not going to like it. And then dive in the air and it's going to have to come and swoop in. And yeah, that's it. But I need somebody different for Beth. But no one's going to want her because she's penniless. Beth needs someone like dive in the air who's not going to care that she don't got no money. Thank you. So is Oliver beneath her station or beneath her rank? Should we not wait a day or two for Mr. James? Elizabeth, a word of advice. Wait for no man, dear. That's good advice. She's trying to go see Dob in the air. Harry, I need your help. I need you to take me somewhere. Harry, say I don't get paid enough for this. Please know what you're doing. See the map positions. There was every opportunity to stop and replenish the ship's water supplies. They either ignored the possibilities or they were never in need. Walk with me, Miss Lindsay. Is she going to be disowned for this? We women are but the property of gentlemen. I have been blessed with freedom twice over. Must not a lady marry even if she is financially secure? But I mean, you don't have to. It seems silly. Free Negro who begs for a master. Unless <laughs> she marries her equal, a man who respects her. I remember my father's eyes. Gentle, a little like yours. Mine. I mean, in color. <laughs> Calm down there, in color. <laughs> I know very little of her other than the color she has given me. And then at least you know she was beautiful. I am to marry shortly. He is amiable and of good family. But that's really it though. Is it what you want? It's what she wanted at first before she met you. I pray he would marry you without a penny to your name. For that is a man who will truly treasure you. Oliver and Miss Lindsay make a blissful match. Exactly when is she due to receive her inheritance? That's all this family care about. I have six brothers, madam. Six? Goodness. Nick Fowler! Miss Murray, Lady Mansfield, I wonder if you might permit me to call upon you at home sometime. So we come down to London and see what the dating scene is like. See what the dating scene is looking like. Okay. Who's the most eligible bachelor? Miss Lindsay, not husband hunting, are we? I thought he can try to push her in the water. Please stay away from me. Keep your distance. Six feet, please. You have ensnared my brother. Are you to share his dining room as well as his bed? What's it to you? I, on the other hand, have no further use for your impoverished cousin. Though she does make for rather amusing sport. Unhand me. Have you never been manhandled? It is not in my repertoire to keep company with beasts. Girl, make your exit gracefully. Ugh. Bite his neck. Bite his... Bite him. Bite him! You're disgusting. You're a pig. How dare you? Girl, you still you still stand here. You will destroy the entire order of our family. You're so mad. Y'all just be so angry. Well, I doubt Miss Beresford has any more wish to marry me than I have. Is Dido with him? I believe so. Oh, you better not get Mabel caught up, girl. While y'all here sneaking and gallivanting with uh Davinier, 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 right? She's gonna get caught. Harry's gonna spill the tea. I like the sister because even though the marriage and stuff is not in her favor and more in the favor of Bill, she's not like, there's no animosity there. I was certain an announcement was to be made any day, but he meant it this time. Girl, he's just playing games with you. Find someone else. There's plenty of eligible people out there. I shall ask Papa to use a portion of my inheritance for your dowry. I've been of the mind these last few days that it is my little means that has delayed James in making his approach. Girl, obviously. <laughs> and I cannot thank you enough. Uh, uh uh I did not give you this dowry so you can go uh frondo with James. Me. He does not desire you, Bet. Or at least even if he does. Here goes the rift. The rift I was just praising wasn't there. Laid his hands on me, Bet. You are a liar. Now when have I ever lied to you? I would never touch you, Bet. You are beneath him! And there it goes. I am beneath him. Now guess what? Yes. That dowry, that little portion of the yes. dowry I said you're getting, scratch that. What? Scratch that. You are illegitimate! And your father doesn't want you, how about that? But my father acknowledged me as his child. Ha! That one. It is yours who refuses to legitimize your position, Bet. And that, that is one. why you are poor. And that is why it is <laughs> not me who is beneath Mr. James. Eat her up. I mean, if you're gonna bring out the claws, bring them out. Just looks like mine's a sharper. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, well, they had to have a falling out eventually. But you still not marrying James, girl. Or you can kiss the dowry goodbye. And if she don't stop, if she don't stop sneaking out, I just feel like she's gonna get caught or something bad is gonna happen. 
Jump scared. Why is she looking like that? This is the dad. I mean, papa. That's papa. Ooh. Harry, you little rat. Not until you cease from judging the entire world as those above and those below and begin to see people as people. Reputation are all that life depends on and despises love. You claim no, love. Yes. Papa. I love her. Oh, shoot. I love her with every breath I breathe. What? You do not deserve this. <laughs> Whoa. I'm too stunned to speak. Whoa. The passion. <laughs> Do you love her? As though she were created of you and me. And that is why I simply will not see her diminished. Mr. James Ashford is to marry the niece of the Marquis of Winchester. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Don't you dare say what? Yo, he wasn't good enough for you anyways. Why do they always do that? Sweets. <laughs> it's because you're broke. Broke people should never laugh! <laughs> I'm trying to think of the difference now. Because she's broke, she can't find a man. That's not exactly true today, but it can be true for some people. Some women are not going to marry a broke man. Go on both ways. I mean, that's fair. It's not exactly just out of there or unreasonable. I did. She no longer wishes the match with my son, a gentleman and an officer. Why? First of all, I'm not trying to be part of y'all family. You view my circumstances as unfortunate. My greatest misfortune would be to marry into a family huh. who would right. carry me as their shame. Right. Aww. He came out cute. Your legacy will be to have left Miss Lindsay in a world where she may be worth more dead than alive. You must learn to protect your emotions if you wish to prevent matters both of law and love from devastating you. So what part of this story was based on a true story the stuff with the um the slave ship or with the romance part <laughs> i'm here today on <laughs> a why did they wear wigs of the slave ship zom i have thought of nothing else but showing you aunt mary's chrysanthemums mr form what a pleasure miss murray <laughs> she said she gonna find her a man by any means necessary the jettisoning can she be here it is not legal to discharge lives from a ship into the waters to facilitate insurance compensation slaves or otherwise neither is it right that the state of slavery is so odious a position odious that's a new one nothing may support it extremely unpleasant repulsive let justice be done return the decision of the law court Okay, so some people are happy about this. <laughs> the insurers are for sure. <laughs> Girl, now get out of there before they start a riot. My affections are with him, Papa. And that is why he should have an occupation befitting one. I would like to facilitate your entry into the Inns of Court. Okay. Can it be true? He sees what I see. His words were as clear. No, no, that your feelings for me are so. Oh. <laughs> that you would be my wife because I cannot conceive of a life without you. You for all that you are, and with all, all that I am. I okay, a little lift in the air. Oh shoot! Ditto and John married and had two sons. The Zong case became a seminal step towards the abolition of slavery. Elizabeth, <coughs> dang, married and had three children. Oh, that's the real picture. Gasp. The painting of Dillard and Elizabeth hung at the Kenwood house until 22. Oh, she was so pretty. Hangs at the Scone Palace, Scotland, Lord Mansfield, birthplace. Well, who's Lord Mansfield? The grandpa, right? The papa. What? That's crazy. Hold on, let me look. I need to do some research real quick. Okay, Diddle Elizabeth Bell. Oh, this is such a pretty picture. And it's hanging up, so it's like it's like monumental. The Oliver guy, he probably wasn't real, right? He probably was just like plot so what was the name of it it was called the law well, the zong the zong massacre okay so the zong massacre real bill i mean ditto and dim real okay that was a good movie i even enjoyed the history that was put in, into it that was a good movie that was a really good movie i remember when it was being released out in 2013 that was such a long time ago literally 10 years from now 10 years ago i remember the trailer being on and everything i just never like went to see it and honestly I don't even feel like it was that long when this trailer was released and they were promoting it anywho that was a good movie i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one to your kid bye 
I am so like, girl, how did I even make it through this video? Honestly, how did I make it through the three things that I watched today? 